In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a basic static website with the Caddy web server. And this is going to have automatic HTTPS built in. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, so I have a remote Ubuntu server at this IP address. So SSH root at this IP address right here. So I'm going to log into that. And basically, what if you want to follow along these instructions, copy and paste, you can go to caddyserver.com, go to documentation, install, and pick your operating system, right? So we're going to be using the Ubuntu directions, but if you have any other one of these, you can choose that. So what we're going to do, let's just make this eh, something like that. So uh, what we're going to do is copy line by line each one of these commands and execute them. So let's copy this first one here, paste it in. Uh, we're going to copy the second command here. And when that's done, we can go ahead and execute that command as well. And then the third command, which again is a curl command, we'll execute that. And then finally, a sudo apt update, followed by a sudo apt install caddy. So really just copy and paste up until this point. Now, the cool thing is that caddy runs by default, and we can confirm that by doing system ctl status caddy. Oops, system ctl status caddy. And you can see here it is active and running. So um, we can also check the caddy version that is running by typing C-A-D-D-Y and then version. And you'll see that we have version 2.4.6. So this is for, uh, at, at least at the time of this video, the most recent version of caddy. There was caddy version one. Now we have moved on to caddy version two, which has a new syntax, which we'll be exploring in today's video as well. So at this point, our website is up and running. Let's check that out. Let's open up a guest window and go to our IP address, which is 143.198.135.219. Hit enter. And we see a very big warning deceptive site ahead. Um, this is okay because we know we are hosting this site. It is just our caddy server here at the IP address that we have hosted. I'm using DigitalOcean for this. So let's go ahead and proceed to the website. And here we go. This is kind of a cool landing page for Caddy. Um, it kind of gives you instructions too about what the next steps are. And the very first step here is to point your domain, uh, the A record, your DNS A record to your IP address. So let's do that. So uh, we will minimize this for now. I have a domain name at Google domains called tonyboney.com. I'm gonna go to the DNS settings for that. And I'm gonna add an A record that points to, whoops, that points to my IP address. So again, that was 143.198.135.219, and we will save that. Okay, so while that propagation is happening, let's go back here and see what it says. So uh, we have, we can put our site's files in var www HTML. Let's look at the caddy file first. Let's look at the caddy file at ECC caddy caddy file. Uh, we'll use, I'm gonna use the Vim text editor. You can feel free to use any text editor that you're comfortable with. And what this looks like now, we've got a lot of comments. Um, I, I, although this is, uh, we're running caddy version two, I think this is version one syntax. So, but either way, it's very simple. You're listening on port 80. Um, this is where our website's files are being served out of, and we're enabling the static file server. So uh, what actually I'm gonna do is erase everything. I'm gonna get rid of everything. So. Uh, we're going to start fresh and we're going to have a three line web server configuration file. If you know anything about web servers, this is really cool that you can do what we're going to do with just three lines. So my domain name, tonyboney.com, the root directory, which where we're going to serve our files out of is going to be var www HTML. And like we saw before, we're going to enable the static file server with the file server line here. And that's all it takes. So Let's save that and let's actually go into the var www HTML folder, which it doesn't exist at this point. Uh, so let's go ahead and make that directory. Actually, we can do that with mkdir p var www HTML, and that'll make that whole path. Let's go into that directory var www HTML, and let's make a basic index. Uh, dot HTML file. I have some very, very basic HTML uh, structure right here. It's simply a header saying Tony teaches tech. Thank you for visiting my website in a paragraph. And then 
closing out the HTML body and syntax, or the HTML body and tag. So let's save that. And are we ready to test it out? Let's let's see what happens. Let's go to tonyboney.com and see what we get. And we see the same default landing page. We don't see any security um, things happening, like as far as this SSL certificate, I should say. Uh, but the reason for that is because we didn't apply our changes. In order to apply our changes, we have to restart the Caddy server. So we can do that with system CTL, restart Caddy, and let's see what we got now. So let's refresh that page and we see our HTML website. Tony teaches tech, thank you for visiting my website. We see a lock icon, which is good. It says our connection is secure. Let's check out our certificate. It is indeed a valid certificate. It has been issued by Let's Encrypt automatically without any interaction on our part for TonyBoney.com. That is really, really cool. When you compare this to things like Nginx or Apache, um, this, this kind of just uh, blows my mind. Um, this is an optional step because things are working, but I think, um, don't quote me on this, but I think good practice is to change the permissions. We'll go up one level and look at the permissions of these directories for um, HTML, and root is the owner. Uh, I think what we want to do is ch change ownerships of that to the caddy user and the caddy group. Uh, pretty much, let's give it a full path at var www.html. So, um, and actually we want to, well, there's nothing under that, but if you did have a full static file structure under there, uh, we could do that recursively with that. So now if we do uh, ls-la, you'll see that caddy user and group owns those directories and everything under it, including just the one file index.html. That's about it for this tutorial. If you want to know how to put WordPress on top of a caddy server, check out this video next. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you over there.